Coffee has gotten a bad rap over the years, and I'm tired of it. Today, we jump to the rescue of coffee on The Smart Show. Do you drink coffee? I do. Do you need coffee in the morning to wake up? I don't, but I enjoy it. So you could go a day without coffee? Yeah. I honestly couldn't. How many how many cups of coffee do you drink a day? Oh, probably about four or five. <laughs> you you don't need it, but you drink about four or five cups of coffee a day. Ah, it tastes good. Okay. What if I took coffee out of your life? How far could you get through your day without a cup of coffee? Two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> that was a really fast answer. For sure you know two o'clock oh, in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. My body would just shut down. How do you wake up in the morning? Do you drink a lot of coffee? No, I don't like coffee. You don't like coffee? No. Factoid, 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 factoid. Factoid, over 500 billion cups of coffee are served worldwide every year. So much delicious coffee. Andrea John Coley, I love coffee and I feel like it's gotten a bad rap and now we're starting to hear some of these myths go away. So what are some common or surprising myths even about coffee? A lot of people think that coffee is bad for you because it's naturally a stimulant and of course if anything has some kind of effect on you, we immediately think it's going to be bad for you, we think coffee is going to fill your body with toxins, it's going to cause diabetes, cancer, whatnot. But actually coffee is a natural substance, uh, it comes from a bean and it has a lot of phytochemicals in it that in fact may be good for us and the caffeine in it has some advantage as well. but then there are also disadvantages to too much caffeine. What are some other effects of too much coffee? The headaches, I mean, that's a common one that people experience. And that's also, if you are experiencing headaches from caffeine withdrawal, you probably have created a, a habit for yourself, something habitual. It does increase blood pressure and can increase the heart rate, but for most people, that's not a problem. There are some people who have heart disease and those people should be avoiding too much caffeine. So what about the long-term effects of coffee? The long-term effects of coffee may in fact be beneficial, that there are studies that show that people who have been drinking coffee for many years have lower risk of type 2 diabetes, lower risk of heart disease, um, high blood pressure, and also Parkinson's. And there's there's been some you know studies done on Alzheimer's, but none of this is completely conclusive, but it does point towards beneficial effects of long-term consumption. Plus, it makes you handsome. <laughs> yes. Andrea, thank you so much. It was thank nice you. meeting you. You want to go get some coffee? Let's go. All right. Woo, coffee. I've been drinking coffee this whole time. I'm completely wired. And I'll tell you what, next week in the Smart Show, we're going to Vegas. And wait, you know what? I'm going to run there. I got that much energy. I'm going to run to Vegas. I'll see you there. Coffee.